Yep. Yep. <laughs> it's banned by the Geneva Convention. Just like sentient killer robots. Let's go, MJ. And Barbie Frog going with Minecraft Steve, or should I say Alex? Here we go. So Barking Frog's Alex, a bit of a new addition to his roster of characters, but this is a talented player. We saw Barking already make a couple great matches with this character, and it seems like the tech is already there. Yeah. Minecraft Steve slash Alex slash Enderman slash Zombie, I'm just going to call him Steve, has been the talk of the town for the last couple weeks due to the success of a lot of prominent uh, Steve players like Yoni and uh, Jake and a lot of others. And one of the reasons for that is this character has a lot of really obscure and unique tech and mechanics to him. And people are like, oh, this character won't be as good offline, you can react to X, Y, and Z. But like, also, you can set up more stuff with the... Um, like reactionary benefits of playing offline. So I'm really excited to see what happens here because right now there's a lot of shenanigans. Jab reset into the side B, forcing Barking Frog off stage. Recovery, not the strongest option Ooh. for Barking Frog's Alex. It feels like Steve really struggles when you have characters and go out there and chase them down and then also has a tool that can beat cart. And look at these Z drop strings. It may not kill, but MJ racking up the damage. Yeah. And I mean, when you have a stock lead like this, you can afford to take a bit of damage. But up, oh, take four rides. All right, mind your business a little bit. I hate you. I had to do it at least <laughs> once. <laughs> Waiting on that air dodge, but not getting anything out of it is MJ. Yeah, not have enough time to really get a diamond going, though. Just Doesn't holding it. it. Yep. Oh, that's so perfect by Barking Frog. Basically saying that I think MJ is going to land aggressively with an aerial, and I'm not going to give it to you. Mm-hmm. Classic Jake smash right there. All right, <laughs> oh my oh. god. Like we said before, it's just a situation that you have to deal with. And again, you don't want to be on the ground against Rob. You try and jump, and he has the options for that too. It's just a whole game of rock, paper, scissors that MJ is forcing Bart to drop the play. Rock, paper, scissors, but MJ brought a gun. Yeah. Rock, paper, scissors. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> All right. But again, Barty Frog not having any time to mine one of the super valuable resources. I don't think I've heard any diamonds come out. And that's the problem with this character, really. The biggest weakness is that it has a fun button. If you allow <laughs> this character to hit B, the character can have fun. Mm -hmm. If you don't, if you drain them of resources, if you prevent them from having iron or diamond or gold, then what can they actually do? Like, Barty Frog has one cart or anvil. Uses anvil, needs to mine. So you yeah. just have to apply that pressure. And I think Rushdown characters, as well as MJ's aggressive ga gameplay with Robert, are a nightmare for this character. Yeah, poor Barking Frog hasn't had any time. I mean, he might be able to get a bit more if he's able to build a wall and just really, really, like, make an effort of taking that time rather than capitalizing on time that's given. But, oh, you have next to think about that because MJ is taking that all the way to the bank. 1-0 at the moment. It just never felt like Barking Frog had the ability to set up. And this is a setup character. You said it before that perhaps offline will give you more time for setups. It seems like right there, MJ understood what this character's win condition was and said, I'm going to do everything in my power to strip it from you. Yep. Yep, yep. That's what I love about Rob. It's, it's such a change of character. Like, typically, if you want to see, oh, he's going to play defensively, he's going to toss out gyros and lasers. But MJ right there was downright aggressive. Mm hmm. And you have the options for it. I remember the first time playing as a Robin Ultimate, I actually got absolutely destroyed because I was like, wait, wait, why is he, why is he this close? <laughs> why is he fighting me like this? Wait. Wait a minute, his owner got hands? <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh Lord. Yeah, I mean, Rob Down Tilt is legitimately one of the best grounded tools in the game. Yep. Like easily, and this is a character with two projectiles, one of them that's transcendent and has phenomenal boxing moves. Like, yeah, um, he can do whatever he wants unless you respond to him and take those options away. Yeah. The Barton Frog answering aggressive again off the gate. Okay, okay. What a string. Yeah, some big damage right there. Again, not getting a lot of time to mine, but still going to try and put the nails to MJ and finding a lot of good hits. But where's the mining? You're going to run out of that steel eventually, especially if you need to land with down air a couple times or use that minecart. Already putting down those resources has one minecart or anvil left. Is that going to kill? Not quite. 90% though for Barking Frog getting sniped out. Uses the last of his iron resources right now, but going to get a little bit back there with that back throw of MJ. MJ has to like delay his options because he's afraid Barking Frog's going to like double jump up, make a platform, and then do some kind of stash shenanigans. Yeah. Oh, it's just chasing. It doesn't matter. My DI got mixed. Did yours? Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. 
Nice rising. Back. How do you convert it? Okay. Huh. No way. That move has so much hit stone on it if that was true. Yeah. Oh, man. And MJ's playing basketball, mm -hmm. but the court is uh, Alex's face because that gyro is bouncing off this. Just hit him with the and one again and again. Yeah. Good get up attack right there by Bark Frog, just trying to get MJ off of him for just a little bit up tilt. Good parry, though. Okay. Did he footstool? I heard footstool out of that. It felt like he mashed and footstooled out of it so he didn't get hit quite as hard. Yeah, I think it was a phantom footstool. All right, but again, Spartan Frog has had, has never had more than three irons since the start of the game. Yeah. Oh. MJ knows the way to play this character. Don't let him hit the fun button. Yep. Great catch. And MJ, or excuse me, Bark Frog potentially looking for an early kill, trying to go for something a little cheeky. I'm surprised that we, we haven't seen him get really that much access to either gold or diamond right now. It, it feels like perhaps he has to rely on a few more defensive tools here. Like, I haven't seen him build a wall like you suggested. He gets the spike and the missed tech, almost killing, but not quite. Oh, and he didn't get any good resources off that either. Still stuck with just stone, wood, and dirt. It sounded like his pickaxe broke, actually. Yeah. Oh, and now his stop broke, too. <laughs> there have been so many times where, like, Barton Frog has been close to being in a great position, but just hasn't had the resources to do much else. Nice. Good dash attack. And he gets, like, one dirt out of that. Yeah. Okay. Let's see if we got one of these. We got traps? Does we got the, traps? Here? Does the gyro set oh. off the pressure plate? <laughs> Good question. I don't know. But I do know that... Uh, Bark Frog got hit by his own TNT setup, and that never goes well. <laughs> this easy. He's just running up down something. He's like, what you gonna do, huh? Yeah. What you gonna do, huh? I'm gonna do this until you stop. <laughs> if you get hit, it's your fault. It's not my problem. <laughs> yeah. Get the arrow, not able to find anything, and this is rough going right there. And Don't look at me. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I was about to say, does Steve have one of those, but up throw is enough? Okay, this actually could hurt a lot. Yeah, trying to land on Steve is very difficult, and that's one of Rob's weaknesses in the air. Is that his neutral air is a little bit slow and has a blind spot directly beneath him, and oh. down air is super slow. Yeah, and now this is getting kind of scary. I feel like the RNG Q, oh, that smash almost connected, but the RNG Q has to be pretty close to Diamond. Getting a couple more um, blocks in. Nice little nick. And, oh my gosh, I can't believe I connected. That's strange. Yeah, let's see if we can make it back. Just manages to do it and grab the ledge. Uh. Just jumps out of the minecart at the perfect moment right there. Yeah. Barton Frog is playing so evasive and just picking his hits at the perfect times. But he, he's on his last bit of iron. He loses it now. Up throw? Maybe? Yeah. Yep, that's enough. MJ not giving Barton Frog any room to breathe at all. At all. Is that a hitbox right there? I just noticed. Yeah, it looks like Barking Frog's playing on the box. The box. All right. That's that's an interesting one. I am super, like, I, I'm really invested in seeing what pump becomes of that, if that's going to become popular for Smash in general, because we already saw a few early adapters in Melee, mm. but I think that there is benefit for Ultimate as well. Perhaps not like, oh, you can do this crazy advanced tech, but 